this is what this is your current input okay so this was about your melee fsm now that we have seen what is moon and mealy fsm we are going to understand what is this state memory okay so for that we are first going to look at the most basic memory element which is able to store one bit of information that basic memory element is known as a bit stable element okay a bit stable element stores one bit forever okay it is a memory for one bit one bit code or a one bit value okay so let's take a look at what that is your bit stable element is basically comprising of two inverters i have one inverter over here i have another inverter over here okay you have one input one output one input one output okay now what happens over here is this output is given as input to this guy okay and this output is whoops this output is given as input to this guy okay so this is basically your bit stable element okay i'm going to remove this this is not required this thing is known as a bit stable element a bit stable element has two symmetrical outputs okay so if this is q this is q bar okay these are two symmetrical outputs or you can also call them as two symmetrical inputs let's see how this circuit behaves let us assume your q is equal to 0 okay when your q is equal to 0 this is 0 okay and when this is 0 this is 1 right this is what this is 1 and inverted form of 1 is what 0 so you ended up with q equal to 0 so if your q is equal to 0 you are going to get 0 over here for ever okay now let's check out what happens when my q is equal to 1 okay whoops now when my q is equal to 1 in this case this is 1 okay so this is your input of second inverter so this is 1 and what i get a zero over here but this is your input of first inverter so this is zero and inverted form of zero is 1 okay so when your q is equal to 1 you get q bar is equal to 0 and q is equal to 1 for ever when your q is equal to 0 you get q bar equal to 1 and q equal to 0 for ever okay this is your simplest memory element it stores one bit of information okay just understand one thing that this circuit you can also draw using a nand gate so this is equivalent to if you have a nand over here you have a nand over here then what you can do is this is your output this is your output and you can give like this over here and this like this over here okay so this is your q and this is your q bar 
the both circuits are equal because this thing is your inverter and I have just replaced my inverter with a NAND gate okay now let's see what is the problem with this bit stable element the problem with this bit stable element is you cannot decide what is Q okay because Q is your output okay therefore I say I cannot change the bit which is stored in a bit stable element so what is disadvantage over here the disadvantage is stored bit cannot be changed okay stored bit cannot be modified okay once you have stored zero it is going to be zero forever okay you have no control on what is your state it entirely depends on what is Q when the circuit is first on okay so this is the disadvantage of your bit stable element this disadvantage